Hi guys, today I want to uh, talk with you about uh, SAS automation with Gulp. Uh, in this video I'm gonna show you uh, how I set up uh, SAS uh, for uh, Gulp. It's pretty easy, after this video you know yourself how to process your SAS with Gulp. Uh, if you did follow the other episodes, uh, you know that it is important to have installed Node.js, npm and gulp and that you also created a package.json in your own project. If you don't know how to do it, please check back in episode number one. There in that episode I've explained it everything uh, so that you know how you can do it. So let's process our SAS with Gulp. Uh, for this uh, SAS, you need uh, several packages, just like the other episodes. You need Gulp and you need Browser Sync, but now you also need to install Gulp SAS. You can use this command. I've just installed that, so uh, it's a lot quicker to do in leave it out in this video um, so run this command in your command line press enter and it will automatically install in your project with the save save dev you will see that it's going to be in your package.json so that's easy for later on if you delete the node modules folder you can start again with npm install and all these packages will be installed again. So after the installation of these um, packages, we're going to the gulp file. Um, here is the content for uh, the gulp file. Uh, first I've created variables for gulp and for browser sync, but now I've also created one for SAS. Uh, this is the Gulp SAS package, it's specially for Gulp, so uh, it's optimized, I think. Uh, we created a, a task called SAS, and in here, the Gulp source, we have included the style.css CSS file. Um, uh, with the Gulp uh, SAS package, we uh, use the SAS command, and we We've set it an uh, output style called the uh, compressed. We have several others. Uh, you can find that in the Gulp SAS documentation. So if you want to check that, uh, you can go to the npm.js website and uh, there is the uh, documentation. So you, can, uh, you can read it yourself. So let's go to Sublime for this time. Um, here is the content of the Gulp file I just uh, explained to you. Um, here is also in the default task the SES task. And here we're going to also check if there are changes in the SES uh, file so um, that we can uh, uh, automatically uh, process the uh, SES files. So, and if we continue then we should check the gulp ses task so let's run it in the terminal it's just to check out if it's creating a css file and in my case this is my uh, uh, css scss file and this here you can find in the disk folder style.css and it is minified so previous episode we checked out some packages to um, minify your css file and this is completely automatically in configuration in your gulp file so super easy so if we continue uh, yeah let's run the gulp file and here we have that super cool website and if we adjust the CSS 
So we're gonna change the background to black. And it is repeat, it's processed. And we're not doing the right thing. So let's check back. And I think I'm not gonna check the right folder. Yeah, it's not in the right folder. So it should be in the SES file. As you can see, I forgot to change that. So let's go back again, run go up, and now it is black of course. So you can see the um, SES is compiled just to make an adjustment. Let's make the text in white. I've saved it, now you can see that it's been running SES again and you can see my text is white. So that's just a simple thing with SES. But I want to show you more uh, about uh, SES. It's some little very small introduction. It's only about variables, but uh, just to show you how you can do it. Uh, with gulp. Um, so you see here that uh, in the style.scss file I've imported the modules for uh, uh, a folder called modules and that's here and inside that we have a file called variables. So if we uh, create a variable called white and let's create another one that's uh, black and put the color no not that color let's do it like this so we declared variable and inside this file we can now use these variables called black And here we can declare white. So if we now check it without, it's still white. So we see it's been running again, but yeah, you don't see any difference. So when we change the color here, you are able to see it everywhere where you declared black as variable in your CSS, CSS file. Um, you will see that um, it changed. So if I'm gonna use it also here and here, uh, you will see it all over. So this is to prevent you uh, declaring multiple times the same color variables and uh, you can use it over and over again. So I hope this makes it a little bit more clear. In the presentation I've also uh, shared with you the content of uh, how you can do it. So. Hopefully this will help you to start using uh, SES. Um, if you have questions, um, yeah, add them to the YouTube video or below in the blog post. And um, yeah, let me know uh, if you uh, like the video and uh, if you like it, then uh, hopefully I will uh, see you again and uh, watching the uh, next episode so thank you for your time